Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Burchill, the Director of Research and Engagement for Trends Research and Advisory, and I'm joined today by Professor Richard Sakwa of the University of Kent, who has joined us today in a discussion of Russian foreign policy in the GCC. Professor Richard, I just wondered if, in light of our discussions today, if you could give us your views on something you expressed earlier and how Russia, Russia is back on the international mm. scene. It's a power, not quite mm. a superpower, but it mm. has a superpower complex, and what this means for mm foreign policy considerations for the GCC. Yes, uh, I must say that uh, the fact that this event has taken place at all is highly significant. Uh, I mean, I think it's excellent that trends and the fact that uh, Abu Dhabi is hosting such an event, which is basically trying to examine Russia's policy or uh, the dynamics of the interaction between the GCC countries and Russia. And that in itself is a sign Russia is back. It's suddenly important. We have to try to understand, first of all, what motivates the dynamics of Russian policy itself. Of course, there's always a big question of what uh, the GCC's own needs and concerns are. And obviously this brings us to the big picture, which is really how does uh, Russia see itself in the world and how does it, as it were, design its policies? And it's quite clear that uh, we've gone through, I think, and I, I would argue, 25 years uh, in the European context of what one could call sort of a new 25 years crisis, uh, which came to a climax with the Ukrainian events last year, 2014, and we're into a new ball game. For the last 25 years, it's quite clear that Russia considers itself a great power, although it has lacked all the accoutrements, apart from nuclear uh, power, which, uh, nuclear weapons, which is obviously gives it an international status. It's also, of course, um, got the uh, permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council, and that gives it a status. But also, more than that, it's also uh, considers itself uh, uh, not just, uh, it, it isn't a superpower, that's uh, clearly uh, those in Russia who would argue that are mistaken, but it's, uh, in a sense, you mentioned the, the power complex, and this is, I don't mean this in a negative sense, though it's not always entirely positive. It's a bit like the United Kingdom and France after they lost their empires, they still consider themselves responsible for world affairs. And this is certainly the case with Russia, which, uh, as you remember, in 1990, it was part of the coalition, or certainly endorsed a coalition, which uh, liberated Kuwait. And uh, since then, it considers itself and considered itself as, um, if you like, a joint custodian of international politics and international affairs. And this is what made it so shocking when it came to the invasion of Iraq in 2003. At the same time, of course, both Germany uh, and France were also concerned about it. But what happened after that was effectively the exclusion of Russia as part of the con condominium, if you like, of powers in the management of world affairs. And this simply uh, isn't because just because we should pander to Russia, but just because it demands it. But we, it's also, while occasionally part of the problem, it is also uh, mostly part of the solution. Unfortunately, we've not been able to get to a satisfactory basis for Russia's inclusion, and this, of course, applies as much to the Gulf region as anywhere else.